Hello Zara. I thought you might like to hear a story read to you today. The one that I've chosen for you is called Sammy's Jumper and it's by a lady called Anne Hath. Let's see what the story is all about, shall we? You can't wear that to school. Mum poked her finger through a hole in Sammy's jumper. But Mum, I love this jumper. Sammy looked down at his favourite orange jumper. You have a favourite jumper, Zara. I wonder what colour it is. It was only a little faded. It was only a tiny hole in one elbow. It only had one splotch of red paint on the sleeve. Obviously well worn, isn't it? You must really, really love that jumper. I'm sorry, Sammy. You'll have to wear this. Mum dangled a check shirt from her finger. My jumper is exactly the way I like it. Sammy pulled off his soft, warm jumper. It's lived in. That means he's made lots of mess with it, I think. He handed it to Mum and slipped on the check shirt. Mm, that's very different, isn't it? That check shirt, it doesn't look anything like his jumper, does it? He wriggled his shoulders as he buttoned it. This is scratchy. It's cold. It's too new. Mum sighed. We'll buy you another jumper after school today. Very nice of Mum, but I hope we keep it quite the same as the one that he really, really loves. Do you? We'll wait and see. Sammy's big brother pounded down the stairs. He raced through the kitchen. See you later, Mum. Daniel stopped. He grinned at Sammy. Nice shirt, Sammy. Sammy frowned. He touched Daniel's blue sleeve. It was soft and warm and lived in. I like yours better, he said. Obviously doesn't like the shirt, does he? He obviously likes jumpers much better than shirts. Sammy had a terrible day. His neck itched. He lost two buttons. Every time he threw a ball, his belly popped out. Oh my goodness me, look at that. Do you think that's where he's lost the buttons from? I don't think Mum's going to be too pleased, do you? Sammy ran up to Mum in the playground at the end of school. Ready to find a new favourite jumper? Mum smiled. Yes, Sammy said. There he is. I don't think you should probably notice the fact that he's lost buttons and things. Sammy tried on yellow tops. And green tops. Look, green and yellow and all kinds. He tried on jumpers with stripes, yeah? sweaters with spots. He tried on shirts with buttons and hoodies with zips. Too scratchy, too tight, too new, Sammy said. None of them look quite like the jumper that he loves, do they? Although some of them are very smart. Which one do you like the best? Mum tapped her foot and looked at her watch. She looked through a stack of jumpers. Sammy, look, she said. It looks like your old one. Sammy touched the bright orange jumper. This is it. I think it does look like his old one. Apart from the holes and the paint. And whatever else it was he'd done to it. Can you remember? Let's buy it, Mum said. I'll wash it before you wear it. Maybe it will get soft and warm. Sammy shrugged. Okay. He missed his old jumper. Mum washed Sammy's new jumper as soon as they got home. She washed it again the next day. She washed it every day for a week. When she was finished, she held it up. Sammy, 
Your new jumper is ready. Try it on. There he is, look. Pulling it over his head. Mum looks really worried. She's tried her best, hasn't she? She's washed it probably about seven times now. Just to try and make it seem more comfortable and like his own. Sammy pulled the bright orange jumper over his head. He squirmed. It's scratchy. It's bright. It's too new. Mum covered her face with her hands. Oh dear. She's done her best, hasn't she? But Sammy's still not very keen on that jumper. Daniel poked his head into the room. Hey, Sammy, do you want this? I have a new one. He tossed a bundle of blue towards Sammy and ran outside. This is. I think that that's the one that he was looking at earlier, wasn't it? When he was rushing out of the door and Daniel went out. He said it felt quite nice and soft like his old one. I wonder what he's going to say. Sammy caught it. He held it up. It was a jumper. Mum, look, Sammy said. It's still very blue. It doesn't have any holes. There isn't any paint on it either. That's probably because Daniel's been wearing it and not Sammy. <laughs> Mum lowered her hands. She looked at Daniel's old jumper. Do you want to try it on, she said. Sammy pulled Daniel's old jumper over his head. It was soft and warm. It was lived in. What do you think, Mum said? Sammy wiggled in his new jumper. He smiled. I love it. It's my new favourite jumper. Hooray, at last. Sammy's happy. It's Daniel's old jumper, but that's what he likes best. He wanted something warm and soft and cuddly. Okay. You've got a nice jumper like that. I wonder what colour it is. I hope you've enjoyed that story, Zara. I've enjoyed reading it to you. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye for now.